On this episode of Picker Road, we're picking after dark in San Diego. And we're going to have a bite to eat in the gas lamp quarter. And we're going to take you along for the adventure. Join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. So we're at a Goodwill and we are at the Hard Goods and I just spotted this, $4.99. Let's see what that says. Santa Barbara Ceramic Designs. My goodness. Let's see. No chips. I'm trying to see the imagery, but I like it very much. Right away in the cart, not bad. Okay, and I see now this looks like a Native American design, but oh, it is a project piece. So down here, I also spy this little bunny. Very, very cute and not marked. What is that, is that a Voltive? I can't really tell. It's not very good quality, so I want to leave that. Just some different candle things and a little jar in blue. Just looking, looking to see what I see. Oh, look at this little llama. That's very sweet. Very cute little llama ring dish. The problem, I don't like the way it is glued. It's kind of cheaply glued, so I'm going to leave that. Looking down here just kind of scanning and down here I like the color on this little pot I like the design I like the color oh it's Hosley Potteries that's not bad that's a nice thing okay I'll get that in the court this is like a French canister Les Pot de Sucre the sugar canister however it is missing its lid so I, I do like that. They want only $3.99 for it. But unfortunately, without that lid, that's not complete. So let's look down here and see what else we have. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch of Ray Dunn. This is uh, a Ray Dunn bank wine stash. It's pretty funny. And these were so collectible. They wanted $12.99 at maybe Home Goods or Ross. I can't really tell. That's a sticker. But now they want $5.99 here at Goodwill. But unfortunately, Ray Dunn is not as popular unless you get some of the really early pieces. Some of the early uh, bird bird houses are very collectible and they command pretty good money. Up here, we see a souvenir piece from Paris, Las Vegas. And then next to here, we have a penny saved, a penny earned. Um, Santa Ana, California. And it's just kind of a, kind of like a milk bottled or what. Got very well made. So I'm going to leave that. And then I'm looking down here. Look at this little Christmas tree canister. I'm trying to see what it says on there. And what is the price? It doesn't seem to have a price on it. So I think I'm going to leave that. Little probably like a little sake um, pour. And then we have some glass. Let's see what that says on there. If it says recycled, it is silver. Nope, made in China. So let's leave that. Just a little canister. And down here, we have a little Holland cow. Very small bank. I guess you wouldn't want to save very much money in that. Pretty small. And then we have just some, what is it? It's already been opened. Some little knick-knack things. And a sugar skull, hand-painted. Not, not too well, actually. And just a little glass dish. And down here, we just have some flower pots and a candle. Nothing much to look at. A little, little canister. And then we 
we have just all sorts of little knick-knacky pieces. We're trying to figure out what they are, where they're from. We have that piece. I don't believe that's carnival glass and it's terribly chipped. Looks like it's flashed. And then we have a very funny little pug dog. And this is some clear glass, clear glass vases. Nothing that I see of any note. We have, it looks like a cardinal bird. And then we have what appears to be a, well, look, I think I see the G for Goble. Mm, looks like it is. Unfortunately, these are not very popular anymore. And this one has been glued. There's a whole crack right there. That's too bad. Sweet little bird. And then down here, we just see some plain glass vases. We don't see anything of note. Let's turn the corner. Okay, so now we're in the glass section. There's always an abundance of glass. Look at this pretty color. Very pretty. There's only two of them, and they are mass-produced glass. Little glass pitcher. What do we have? We have a little pretend Coke machine. He's very light. Not, not sure where he belongs. Oh, he's part of a salt and pepper. Okay, so we're down here at the end caps. It looks like they have a lot of pieces, decor pieces that you would find at places like Ross or Home Goods. I'm not seeing anything spectacular right now on this one. This lantern is interesting, but it's not old. I wish it was. And looking down, just some vases and a mate to that lantern. Let's move on to the next one. And down here, let's see, we have, ah, we have a bee. That's the rain I would give this goodwill, and that's generous. Okay. Hey, I see the wood section. Let's take a look down here. Okay, it looks like it is a little bit sparse. We've got what looks like a small little tabletop cabinet and just kind of like a deep wood tray marked up. This looks like mailboxes. I have no idea. And then up here, we just have some Christmas trays and just Halloween's, Halloween stuff already. It's too early, too early. We might be amending that uh, rating, right? Yeah. If we don't see something really good soon, we're going to an F for fail. Here's some more clear glass vases, most of them floral pieces. We have some wreaths down here. I don't really get too much into wreaths. And let's see what else. Up here, I'm just not seeing anything. Okay, let's look on the other side. Okay, so there's a mirror, but unfortunately it's quite broken. And up here, again, Christmas, nice sentiment. Peace, joy, Noel. And a badly damaged brass bowl. This is a large leaf. Make sure it's not Nambi or another good one. It's Star Home Designs, made in India. Uh, kind of beat up though. And what is this? That looks like it's a Hollywood Regency piece. Extremely bent. I like the rhinestones on top, but it really has seen better days. So I'm going to have to leave that. And down here, life is tough, my darling, but so are you. Okay, so we're going to just take one more look here. These are basically just signs. Nothing much here. I did believe I would find something, and I do believe I will probably at the next one. So let's go check out with our two goodies and onward. In the heart of San Diego's downtown is the Gas Lamp Quarter. With a history that dates back over 170 years, this neighborhood features numerous examples of Victorian era architecture and is considered a cultural center of the city. Well, it's getting late, let's keep thrifting. Okay, we are now in another small locally owned thrift store and I'm taking a look at all the goodies they have. 
looking at the shelves. Luckily, they're open a little later tonight, so we're able to get in here. Oh, I like this one. Look at the dog. Top dog. Very heavy, though. The mug is just a little too heavy for shipping. And I'm looking at, they have glassware and figurines. Nice little angels. The little angel figurines. Up there, they have just more vases and glassware. And they have glasses. And down here, I, I really like this little pot. They want $7.99, though, for it. And down here, we have some copperware. I have a little, kind of like, I guess you could put a plant in it. Unfortunately, it is bent. We have a pear plate and a dish. Let's see, what else we have under there? Just another piece of copper. And we have some figurines. We have a piece that looks like it would like to be Yadro, but it's not. And let's move on down here. We have a pretty yellow vase back there. Kind of lightweight and mass produced, unfortunately. I was hoping that might have been an older piece. And up here we have a little handmade birdhouse. And just some florals. What are these? These are very heavy is what these are. They're just some plaques. Okay, here we are at a Goodwill in San Diego. And I'm gonna go over here and see some of these pieces. They look really interesting. Look at this egg back here. It's only $2.99. Oh, the only problem is it's on there crooked. Darn, it's glued on there crooked. Otherwise, it's really nice. Okay, let's look up here. Look at that old looking doll. She's not old, just old looking. But she's pretty. Let's see what else we've got. Got some flowers. How much is that? $7.99. Very cottage core. And look at this rabbit down here. Oh, he's wonderful. Oh my goodness. He is so wonderful. Boy, that is an Easter bunny if ever I saw one. He's $99 and worth it. Okay, look at these bowls. They're very interesting looking. Kind of frosted glass. It almost looks like a cantaloupe made into a bowl. And down here we have some shoes and just some decor. This Goodwill is very much a boutique Goodwill. Let's go over here and look at this shelf. They have their items definitely arranged by color. Up here, this is obviously their blue section. We've got a paperweight here. Oh, that's really pretty for $4.99. Look at that, that's pretty. I wanna get that. Very pretty for a desk. You could use it like that or as a pyramid, and it's signed. Let's see what that says. That says, Ole Cassini. Wow, gee, let me just check that. Let's make sure we don't have any chips. No, it seems perfect. That's a definite yes. They have a nice display in the window. I really like this planter. It says, measure your life in love. They want $12.99 for it. It's extremely heavy, so it wouldn't be a good shippable item, but I do like the same. And here we have, uh, oh, it's for a baby. It's to keep the teeth, to save all the teeth. And you can write their name and their date of birth and everything. That's so cute. I've never seen anything like that. They went $3.99 for that. That's really, that's really interesting. You know what? That is so interesting. I'm going to take it. And what do we have here? We have just a bust statue. Very nice. Very nice piece. Unsigned, though. Or is it? Let's see. I don't think I can get that off, but I don't think that is signed. So I am going to leave that. And 
let's go over here. Now we're in the main hard goods section. About from little green pumpkins. This is a modern piece. And then down here we have some mugs. I kind of liked that one, but then it looked a little sloppy, so I'm just not going to do that one. And I'm looking at these jars, and these two go together. They're rather attractive, botanical garden ones. Look at, look at this vase back here with the pink on it. Oh, it's very marked up. It's not an original, unfortunately. And look at this Easter egg. He's interesting. Let's see what that's all about. It's kind of light. Mm. Yeah, it's a hobbyist piece, but it's extremely light and not of the highest quality, but it's pretty. And then down here, we have a vase filled with little beads and a Starbucks mug. Pretty common one. And I'm looking, I'm, I just don't see anything else. And up here, ooh, look at this set. This is very pretty. Blue, heavy glasses. But would be very hard to ship and sell, so I think I'll skip that. And I'm looking down here at these. I see a set of coasters back here. Let's see what these are. They're four times a dollar ninety-nine. Hmm. Yeah, I think without having a little caddy for them, I want to put that down. And down here we have some vases and some more cups and plates. Pretty much regular fare. Moving along here, looking for some hand-thrown pieces. That's a little cupcake. That's a cute little, cute little jar, I guess it would be. I think that's handmade. Nice little cupcake, handmade. It's nice. It's just a hair too uh, crudely made. Just it was just a little bit better quality. I'd probably jump all over that. Uh, and up here we have some candles and a it looks like a handkerchief bowl vase. Look at that. Again, very poor quality on the painting. Very light. So I'm going to let that. Be ah, doggy mom. That's great. Let's see. Oh, it's a little bit used on the inside, but love that sentiment, especially with Mother's Day coming up. Okay, so we're gonna move down here and see. Oh, I love this. I love this bird. He's very interesting. He's made in Mexico, and he's got great color. Little tiny chip there, but not too bad. I think I'm definitely going to take him. So let's get him. And then we have an elephant. We have a hippopotamus. Hmm. I wonder if anybody collects hippos. Huh. Hmm. I think I'll leave him because he doesn't have a lot of color in him. And let's just look right here and see if I see anything else. Look at that picture. That's definitely an interesting picture. It's somewhat signed, I think, but it is $10. So I'm going to leave that, I think. I don't think that's something I want right now. I see this hand thrown piece. Kind of a strange shape, doesn't give you enough room. And looking down here, and that's about it, Will. Well, there they're, looks like they're closing up. We are picking after dark, so let's pay for our treasures and go. We're back in the gas lamp, and it's time to enjoy some delicious food at Lou and Mickey's. Tonight's fare includes an open-faced steak sandwich, fish and chips, and some delicious mac and cheese. While we savor all this, let's recap tonight's finds.
Well, we've had an amazing time picking after dark in San Diego. And we've had a delicious dinner in the gas lamp quarter. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. It's going to help us grow and be able to do more and more adventures. Please leave us a comment and give us a like. And like always, join the journey.